are going to Walmart because if, if you don't know, we are going to do a side project, which is baby dolls and blush puppies. For people that have dementia, because it makes them feel loved and it comforts them. Welcome back to our side project. We are spending December collecting baby dolls and plush puppies for dementia and Alzheimer's patients in Southern California. Please make sure you hit like down below and share this video with anyone out there who you think might enjoy it. We've been busy this week. We've had a lot of stuff happening. We can't wait to catch you up. My name is Nicole O'Connell and I'm an LVN hospice nurse. One of the things that I enjoy with my patients is seeing them hold a stuffed bunny, a baby doll, a stuffed animal. It doesn't matter. It brings them comfort and joy. And they remember their children being young and remember them being babies. A particular patient that I loved so much. I took care of her for three years. And she came in to my unit with a pink bunny. It just brought her so much comfort. And her husband always said to me, if I had known, I would have just bought her the bunny. Oh. I love her so much, so. That is an awesome story. Okay, latest update. Just got off the phone with the activities director for one of the memory care facilities here in my town. See, I'm kind of shocked at how the conversation went. <laughs> been kind of putting off making these phone calls to the actual memory care facilities and I I don't know why I I, I guess I was af maybe afraid a little bit afraid of rejection so I was nervous I was nervous that she was gonna say no thank you <laughs> but I was wrong she was really excited about it she kept thanking me and I thought why are you thanking me thank you for letting us come in and do this honestly i've called this facility because i have had experience with them in the past it was back when i was a teacher I started this project called the memoir project i asked students to come with me to these memory care facilities and i had them do interviews with the residents they asked them questions about their life story you know like what were you like growing up tell us your happiest memory as a child, tell us your, when you were the most scared in your life, and then went back and created these beautiful scrapbooks that documented the lives of these patients with Alzheimer's and dementia. At that moment, I should have known this is what I should be doing with my life. This is my calling. Fast forward some four or five years later, never would I have imagined that I would be returning to that facility to do a tour because my mom was diagnosed with the disease. And it was really hard, and I hated every minute of it. I will say that this facility that we are going to be going to is beautiful and their services are incredible. What's up everybody? What's up everybody? We're at a Williams. <laughs> right next to some teenagers over there. <laughs> and also before we even well, start with our meeting, yes. I have a question. How much money do we have for our, our donation? I think we've got $500. Woo! I know. So we need to take some notes. Note, note, note. about what we have coming up and what we need to work on next. How is that chocolate milk? Absolutely delicious. Facebook post has almost 2,000 views. What? I talked to Atria. Atria is the place where we're going to go deliver these adorable dolls and puppies down the street. And we are going to be going on December 16th. You should write that in your notes. We have a, a lot of residents that are looking forward to this. When I talked to the activities director, she said that there, are, if we could have 20 baby dolls. What a better number would be is 30. Okay. Which is how many students are in my class. <laughs> so if we're going to have, if we need 30 baby dolls, and do you remember how much these were? I think they were $13. Were they 13 Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, she's pretty cute, you have to like admit. Let's do some math. Let's do 15, because 15 is a pretty solid number. So what kind of a math problem is that? It's a multiplication math problem. You're right. That's some double digit uh, multiplication right there. 450. It would be really cool in addition to these babies. I think we should wrap them in blankets. Yes! Okay, 600. And now I also feel like we need to buy some of the, more of these plush puppies. It's $9.99. That's a lot actually for that. We could probably find that a lot cheaper at Walmart, don't you think? Huh. 
I think so. I think we need to go on a Walmart trip tomorrow. <laughs> what I really like to do, what? I'd like to go to more than one care facility. $1,200. Then we could go to two facilities. This is our math. So we need to raise $1,320 to be able to go to two different care facilities and deliver baby dolls and plush puppies to those residents. Too hungry? <laughs> Delicious, I love chocolate milk. Say one more, here we go. Yeah, I guess who's pushing the cart? Carrying two really? like, kids. It doesn't look a little weird for me to be pushing this car. Oh, he's so cute. I wanted to give him a kiss. Three dollars. We're gonna get two. Oh, look at the babies. Ten dollars. I like this one. Let's see. She's cute. It has an elephant shirt. Perfect. Oh, that one. one. Does this oh. one make sound? Um, okay, so the next stop is we need to find baby doll blankets. Our cart. I got a lot of stuff at Walmart, and it's cheaper. Go Walmart. So we're in the craft section, and it's got some fabric in here, and we were wondering if maybe we could buy some fabric and just cut that up. <laughs> oh, I hate the Walmart lights. It makes me look so old. Well, while we're buying all these baby dolls, to cut this is because we're helping people with dementia because it helps them be comforted. Oh, that's nice of you. How do you think it went at Walmart? Terrible. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't get them early. Oh my gosh. But did we find some baby dolls? Yes, lots of them. And some blankets? And some puppies. And some puppies too. As always, Ella and I thank you so much for tuning in. We are so grateful to have this opportunity and excited, looking forward to next week. Next week we will be picking out our outfits that we're gonna wear for the delivery of our baby dolls and plush puppies. We'd love to hear what you guys wanna see us dressed up as. Please chime in on the comments down below and let us know what you'd like to see us dressed as. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay strong, stay grateful, stay present. I'll see you next time. Bye.